Yo, what's up guys? I'm here at my buddy's house trying to design a wheelchair ramp so he can get into his house easily. We're gonna put it up against the porch right here where these logs are. Still need to come up with the design. I've never built a wheelchair ramp, but I've built houses. I built a ton of porches, so it should be a piece of cake. All right, so the ramp is gonna extend all the way out to here. From this point to that point is 14 feet. So we need at least 14 footers. Probably gonna have to get 16s. We're gonna need one, two, three, four of them because it's gonna be four foot wide. We're gonna use treated lumber, two by sixes, and then probably cover the entire ramp with two by six deck boards. It's gonna look sick. I'm gonna put some railing on it. I'm gonna have to cut that water pipe. Hopefully it's not live. That didn't work. It's got some, it's just not spraying. I think it's out of the way now. What do you guys think? All right, quick game plan before we get started. The wheelchair ramp is gonna start about right here. It's gonna match these stairs and it's gonna go all the way up to about right there. Then it's gonna land on a four by four platform, which will allow you to turn and go to the front porch. There's gonna be railing all along the side of the ramp coming all the way down. I'm gonna do the entire thing out of two by six treated lumber. Even the ramp boards are gonna be two by six and it's gonna try and match the decking here. So that's the plan. We're gonna start by digging the holes for the four by four poles, get them set in concrete. And as those dry, we'll start knocking out the design of the ramp here. Might even go live with it. We'll see if we have time, but uh, let's start things off by moving all this wood over so we have some space to work here. Alright, first step on any job site is to clean and prep the workspace. So I got all these cinder blocks removed from underneath the ramp. I'll probably backfill this hole so nothing decides to bed right here. And then I started looking at where we're gonna attach to the porch. And I see this two by six stud here in the way. We're gonna remove this guy. We're gonna put some brand new two by six treated lumber joists that will attach to the existing deck and do what this little stud board is doing. So let's get this out of the way and let's start building the landing for this wheelchair ramp. Let's go. Now that the deck is all prepped and ready for a ramp, we can start taking a measurement for the platform. This is gonna be the four x four landing platform. So we need to extend four foot out right about there we'll use this stick as a marker boom and that's where we're going to dig our first pulse hole so let's do that and then we can start framing out the platform
Ah, be deep enough. Let's check it. All right, next step, we're gonna take this two by six by eight right here, and we're gonna chop two feet off. You'll see why later, we're gonna use that scrap for something. Then we're gonna take the six foot piece and attach it to the existing porch, and it's gonna come across on a level plane and then grab this four by four right here. Once that four by four is grabbed from both sides and everything is level, then we will put the concrete and get it all set. Once you like it, slam a couple more screws on this side. Don't worry, we're gonna come back and put some lag bolts in, maybe even some carriage bolts through the four by sixes here and get everything glued together nicely. Let's go. All right, decent start here. Next up, we're gonna take this four by four. Hopefully it lines up, which, wow, it's actually really close. Give it a little shimmy here and there. It should line up. And if it does, if it lines up flush with your two by six, then check it with a level. As you can see, it still needs to come out this way. And it isn't quite lined up with the two by six anymore. So that means the four by four has to shift over to the right entirely. So uh, we might have to do a little bit of digging. Let me pull this out, shift the four by four over, and then we'll tack it down, guys. The depth and the height of the 4x4s isn't too important here because we're going to end up cutting the ends. We're going to end up cutting the tops off of them anyways. So as long as your hole is deep enough to house those 4x4s securely, that's all you really need, guys. And if you look, right now we're about two foot deep, which is more than enough. Now 
All right, we're lined up once again. Let's check it with the level. And as you can see right there, we're perfectly level. So we can put a screw in this. Only one though, only one screw, just in case we have to make some minor modifications down the line. There it is. Quarter of the way there. All right, next step is to attach this four x four platform over to the existing porch. It was gonna end somewhere about right there, but I think it would look really, really nice if I get one solid two by six and go all the way across and grab all of these joists here. And then I could just run my supports off of there and build the platform. The outside board will attach there on the four x four, come all the way down make that nice ramp and I think I'm gonna put two or three more four by fours along the way to help support it we will probably do the same here on the inside we'll put some inside supports and this thing is gonna be solid guys looking great so far that's where we're at let's get this two by six put up and see how that looks is sagging or if this board is just crowned really bad but you can see a huge gap here when it's flush over there I don't know if I'll be able to bend this board up into position or not we're gonna give it the good old college try not bad I'd say it bent up a good ways All right, next step guys, I was gonna put a four by four, four foot away and finish this platform, but I think it's gonna look weird to have a pole here and a pole here and then another pole here. So what I'm gonna do is just match the poles of the porch. I'll put a four by four right there. I'll put the last one right there. It'll look nice, it'll be symmetrical and I will still be able to support this little landing here if I need to put an extra couple four by four studs underneath I will but yeah we're gonna make it look nice instead of putting a bunch of outside posts let's go I use the shovel towards the top to widen it out. That way when the cement hardens, it's a nice cone base. I also don't put cement at the bottom of the hole because you want the water to drain off of the four x four down into the ground. You don't want that water cooling underneath your four x four in a concrete cavity. So, nice big hole to start. Then we start fine tuning with the post hole digger. We might as well start this next one while we're at it. Right. 
Next, we're gonna take this measurement from the inside corner to the outside edge of the four x four and cut two of those. One of them is gonna attach from this four x four over to that board. And the second one is gonna be a temporary brace to hold this guy over there. So that's what we got going. Let's get it. Pencil, so we're using our good old thumbnail. Now we're going to take this guy over to this 4x4 and get it temporarily braced. Make sure it's level. Right about there. Maybe a little bit more up. There she is. And now we can bring the four by four over to the pole. Do a little more digging, no problem. That's more like it. Once it's lined up, check it for level one more time. We'll put a temporary screw and that'll be done. You guys remember when I said to cut two boards of that length right there, which was 45 and a half? Well, now's the time for that second board to come into play. Our first one is right over there. It's acting as a temporary brace. 
the second one is gonna be permanent. So let's take a measurement. We want four foot from here. There's three, there's four foot right there. So put a mark right on it. If you can, Here, I like to use a screw. So there's our four, four foot mark. Do the same thing on the other side. Four foot, put a mark on it. Boom. And then we're gonna put that board just like so, right between our two marks. See that? Very cool. It might even stay on its own. Uh, nope. We'll get it screwed in. All right, I was about to start planning the cut for the first ramp joist, but I think I'm gonna double up this stud real quick before we do that. So I'm gonna cut one more, whatever this length was, 40 something and uh, whatever. Double this up, put a double joist hanger on either side, and then we'll start doing the ramp. All right, guys, it's time to do the angle cuts. I've never done anything like this before. This is gonna be my approach. Hopefully it's right. If it's not, let me know in the comments. I'm taking this scrap two by six. I'm gonna put it right against my joist here. And then I'm gonna mark a line along this board. That's gonna give me the proper angle cut. This board is gonna drop a two by six length down. So take a look at what we're gonna do for the other side. If you come all the way around, we got this set up right here. So this board is gonna drop a two by six length down. I have this board here already leveled. I checked it with the level and it's nice and flush. So now I'm gonna mark a line all the way across that board right there. Cut that bottom piece off and then this board is gonna drop and sit on these pavers. That'll be the perfect pitch for the ramp. If it looks nice, I will scribe the cut across the other three. And then we just gotta put them on to that beam right there with some joist hangers and we're good to go, guys. I wonder if I could do this one-handed. A few moments later. <laughs> few inches later. This is ridiculous. It's a brand new blade. I don't know why. Smell smoke. Battery is fully charged, so it's not the battery. I think my saw is broken, guys. Oh, 
that looks so, so good. Oh, that's so money. I like it, I like it. I put a screw in it. Actually, we need to move it and transcribe it. I gotta cut three more of those guys. Unfortunately, I ran out of battery, so we gotta charge up. It was about lunchtime anyway, so it's all good. I'm putting concrete in the post holes. That way, when I get back, everything will be nice and solid. Before the concrete sets though, I'm gonna walk around, check every single pole with the level, make sure it's all level and square. And then when we get back, we're gonna attach all of the ramps, all of the joists for the ramps to the four by fours, to the existing deck. We're gonna hang the two middle ones here with some joist hangers. And then this ramp will be just about done. We'll just have to cover it with deck boards all the way up and to the porch. So, making progress. It's coming along nicely, guys. Don't worry, this is getting removed. This is just temporary. Yo, sir, these days are for y'all. <laughs> you know we can't do a project without a trip to Harbor Freight. Let's go. Do you? 